Welcome back to Medical Monday. It makes sense. You go to an eye doctor to deal with eye problems. You go to a cardiologist to deal with heart problems. And you go to a dentist to deal with your teeth problems. But our next guest says your mouth can say so much more about your health, and it could be a lifesaver. Here to explain, please welcome dentist Dr. Terry Alani. Hello. <laughs> You have your Dr. Alani's Tooth Academy and your fatigue's on because you have a, a war on diseases, don't exactly. you? Exactly. <laughs> I'm here to give a message. Exactly right. There are so many diseases that a lot of patients aren't even aware of that actually show up in the mouth first, yeah. such as diabetes, heart disease, stroke, um, And we'll pregnancy. go through these and yes. figure out like, you know, how you figure that out. Uh, but one of the, the, first off, one of the first things that people find out sometimes for the first time is that they have high blood pressure because you do take their blood pressure. Exactly. We do take blood pressure. In fact, patients that have high blood pressure, I can detect because they usually, their gums usually bleed very easily. Wow. And just to give you an example, I had a patient come in not about two weeks ago and we took his blood pressure and it was 210 over 112. Wow. Now, for those of you that aren't aware of what normal blood pressure is, it's 120 over 80. So immediately, I called Dr. Reddy, who is a cardiologist that also does this show. He sees a lot of my patients. I immediately referred the patient to him, and he got him stabilized. But we canceled the two-and-a-half-hour appointment. I mean, wow. there was just no way we would work on him. So it's very important that the dentist does take blood pressure when you do go to see them. All right. You mentioned diabetes, which we know that if you have diabetes, it can cause all systems to fail in the body, exactly. including your teeth. Yes. There are actually six million Americans that have diabetes and do not know it. Now, as dentists, we are able to go in. A lot of times I'll start to clean a patient's teeth and their gums have this glistening kind of shiny look to them and they're swollen. Hmm. And the, they bleed easily and the gums can pull away from the bone. Oh. Now, basically 93% of people with gum disease will be at a risk for diabetes. And they have a tendency to have, it raises the blood sugar, and the mm -hmm. blood sugar, of course, accelerates tooth decay mm -hmm. and causes cavities. Um, it also can interfere with dental implant surgery because the bone will not heal properly. Right. And also, if you do have diabetes, it is so important to keep your gums healthy because that inflammatory response will be improved and it will also possibly help patients reduce the risk of a need, reduce the need for insulin. Yeah, yeah, and help them keep their teeth. Yes. All right, pneumonia. Pneumonia. Basically, if a patient has gum disease, first of all, bacteria in your mouth can pass into your lungs and cause respiratory infections and especially patients with gum disease because that bacteria can pass through and cause pneumonia. Yeah, gum disease. 50% of gum disease is genetic. 50%, so look at your parents. 50 percent of gum disease is genetic. Now, for those patients that come in that are susceptible to gum disease, we actually put them on a monthly regimen of a tetracycline drug that actually reduces the enzyme. It actually suppresses the enzyme that causes bone loss. So these people are at a high risk. With a small amount of bacteria, they have a high immune response. So basically what it does is it helps to regulate that immune response. Yeah, kind of be, be preventive. Yes. Okay. Uh, pregnant women who have gum disease could have some issues as well. Exactly. When I had my children, I remember my gynecologist told me, well, you don't have to worry about cleaning your teeth. And that is so far from the <laughs> truth. It is it's so important if you're pregnant to get your teeth cleaned even every four months because if you have gum disease or inflammation in your mouth, basically you are susceptible to having the baby either born too small or early. Hmm. Okay. Uh, heart disease. I remember this report came out and people just went, wow, that you could actually detect heart problems through the mouth or if you don't take care of your teeth, it could actually cause heart problems. Exactly. And it's really interesting because I can detect in my office patients that have had high blood pressure or are susceptible to heart disease usually have bleeding gums and they accumulate tartar easily. And it sort of goes hand in hand because when you have inflammation in your mouth, it actually increases the inflammation in your entire body. And if your gums, basically inflammation in the gums raises a C-reactive protein, which is a culprit in heart disease. Um, oral bacteria causes gum inflammation and it can affect the rest of your body. Actually, when you brush your teeth, they have found, research has shown that the bacteria in your mouth is constantly passing through your body. Mm -hmm. Dry mouth. Dry mouth. 
If you have dry mouth, you have to be very careful because it can actually increase the risk of decay because we don't have that saliva protective uh, coating to coat your teeth. Yeah, cancer even can, you can, it, well, obviously oral cancer is the big one uh, that sometimes people don't realize, but the dentist is the one who always finds it. They don't realize they have it. Exactly. People that smoke, when we do a thorough exam on our patients, they get a whitish substance on the inside of your cheeks. It's called leukoplakia, and it actually is a precursor to cancer. So it's real important that the dentist does an annual oral cancer exam. Also, you can have uh, people that have uh, HPV virus. It will show up as warts, wart-like bumps in their mouth. And we also can detect that with a visual and oral cancer exam. And then we're one of the first people to detect HIV. Yeah. Because with HIV, you will have like fungal lesions and sores in your, in your mouth. Okay. Uh, a lot of things can obviously impact uh, your teeth. And one of those things is the food we eat, but also medications. Exactly. Lots of medications to be aware of. When you go into your doctor, if you're on a blood thinner, make sure you tell your dentist, especially if you're getting ready to have a tooth extracted, because you can have excessive bleeding. So any of the uh, blood thinners can cause excessive bleeding. And sometimes the doctors will not want their patients to be off of the blood thinner, and that's fine. Just let us know. It is so important to fill out yeah, that health history. At least history. you know the cause of that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, bisphosphonates. Those are what people take if they have osteoporosis. Those drugs can actually weaken the jawbone. It's so important to go in, let your dentist know. We'll take x-rays and see and make sure the bone stays dense. Antihypertensive drugs and calcium channel blockers, they can actually cause painful ulcerations in your mouth. And antidepressants to chemo can cause dry mouth. So there's lots of medicines can affect your oral health. All right, I'm going to clear up a myth because I hear this uh, yes. oftentimes, especially among children. Your teeth are really white, so they're healthy. <laughs> Don't be fooled by white and shiny teeth. White and shiny teeth and the health of your teeth do not go hand in hand. I can tell you so many of my patients, they're in their 30s, they come in, their teeth look perfect, but when you really go in and do the exam underneath the gum, there's tartar, there's inflammation. It's so important. Gum disease is preventive. And basically, what people don't, aren't aware of, and my message is to tell people that it is preventive to go in and get your teeth checked and cleaned at least twice a year. This is just a great example of... A great example of how oftentimes we don't know, but how you all as doctors are working together. I mean, because some, somebody might show up to a dentist and not show up to their primary care physician for a physical, but there are several ways that you can kind of cast a net to catch and help us with our health. Exactly. And also, another little tidbit is that you can actually pass the gum disease through bacteria in your saliva to a family member or a loved one. Oh. So it's so important to go in and keep your gums really nice and healthy. And make healthy. it a family affair, too. Yes. All right, Dr. Alani, thank you very much. <laughs> Dr. Alani is offering a free new patient comprehensive exam and oral cancer exam with a full set of x-rays and cleaning. To get in on this offer, you can call her office at 713-621-5141, 713-621-5141, or log to, on to texastoothlady.com. Did you know she's your Texas Tooth Lady? All right, texastoothlady.com. And like her on Facebook, just search for Terry Alani DDS. Also, Dr. Alani co-hosts a radio show with her brother, orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Wayne Alani. It's called For Your Health with Terry and Wayne. It's on every Saturday at 9 a.m. on CNN 650 a.m.